Nothing like the smell of fresh air. Welcome to the Western Wilds. Hello everybody and welcome to a new map and a new series here on Farmers Only for 22 and on the channel. I'm Craig Boy, thank you for joining me then. So we are here on the Western Wilds. This map for me is like a playground because it's all in individual blocks like that. Each block you can go and purchase and you can get whatever you want. It's around about 85 grand per block. There's no fields. You have to start from scratch. We are right here in the middle at the minute. And you can see a lot of trees around here, so we can do some logging if we want. But there's also plenty of open space for us to make our own fields and put our own paw print on this map. And at the minute, I am here in the middle of the map, right in the middle, just there. I think this could be a good plot to call home. Now, we own nothing. As you can see, we haven't got any money in the bank account at the minute. We are waiting for the bank manager to transfer us over from Elm Creek to here. It's taken a bit longer than I thought. I thought it would have come through by now, but we are still waiting. I've got me, my clothes, and my pickup truck. That's it at the minute. So we'll have a quick look around and see. Hopefully at some point that will go in. This is quite a big area. Now, yes, there's a lot of rubbish on here. It needs cleaning up. But I do think this could be quite good. It's quite a big plot. And obviously, if you go and have a look on here, you buy the numbers. So you buy number 26. So it's, you get the plot and a little bit around. So we've got a bit of field as well. So we're going to have a quick look over here. We get this over here. Jump the fence. We get all this here. I mean, this is going to be so cool. It's all flat. No worries about big mounds when you put cow pastures down or when you put any placeables down. It's just, it's flat. So we could have one big massive field. We could have loads of little small fields. We literally can do what we want. This is going to be a good series. And it's just going to grow and grow and grow. But we've got to start with a plot of land. Somewhere we can call home. But first, I need to get on the phone to the bank manager to see where my money is. But there we go. Finally, the bank manager has transferred my money across from Elm Creek to the Western Wilds. What a hell of a bank account that is as well. So we are going to have some fun with that then. Hopefully, we won't be getting into debt. No more big bank loans. I'm hoping. Ooh, what, what's, what is this? Oh, so cutting the signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all power lines in the area. That's a cool little feature. Okay. What's this one? So this will permanently remove all loose scrap in the area. Oh, so all that rubbish we saw up there. What about, is that cl class of the barns and stuff? Or maybe like the old tractor in there? I wonder if that's part of it. Okay, and the last one. Oh, that will move all trees from the area. Ah, I mean, we could do. I'm guessing all this is the, the scrap that's going to go. But does that include the buildings or not? Have we got to get rid of them ourselves, I wonder? Might have to get rid of them ourselves. But I'm guessing all this rubbish and skips and bins and barrels are all going to go. I do think this. Oh, what about these? Do these go as well or we got to sort these out ourselves not even sure what these are random little buildings i do think this is going to be a good plot to start on it's quite a big area and we have got some fields just across the road so if we buy like that plot there we've got a big bit of field down the side and just over from where we are here these little blue dots you can see just there they're the lamppost or sorry the signpost that we can cut down so we've got a lot of field we could use there and obviously, if we buy this for the second plot, we've got a bit of 26 up here and a little slither down the side here. But they're £85,000 each. That is literally not going to put a dent in our bank account at the minute. So I think this is going to be good. So I think we should get these. We should definitely start from here. So let's do that. Let's go and buy this plot here. And let's go and buy this plot here. 
Anybody see the bank account change? <laughs> so, we can now officially call this home. So, let's... Oh. Oh, we've got no chainsaw. So, we need to buy a chainsaw first. So, chainsaw in hand. Yes. Let's see. So, power lines. Definitely go for the loose scrap. Let's just see what this gets rid of first. Do we have... Is there anywhere in particular we have to cut it or do we just cut it? Oh. That, did that do anything? Or do we have do we have to go lower? Right, so scrap apparently has gone. Um hmm, I'm still seeing a lot of it. What scrap? Is it meant to get rid of? Um, anybody, anybody spot what scrap's meant to get rid of? I mean, we've still got the old bar on the tractor. I mean... There was some bits around on the floor. Oh, so it's got rid of, like, the bin bags and the rough kind of stuff up here. Not the kind of scrap I was thinking. Okay, well, it's tiny the floor up a little bit. That's not too bad. Maybe we should get rid of the trees. I'm just still not sure if we're going to do anything, any tree work or not. But the thing is, looking on here, I mean, look, we could go for like plot 37, 36 even. There's a lot of trees down there. So I think we could just get rid of the trees in this little area. I don't think we need to worry about trees in this area. We need to start with a blank canvas. Let's do it. Oh, I just suddenly saw a load of light appear then. Oh. Oh, that's opened her up a bit, hasn't it? Jeez. Wow. Feels so naked now. Well... What do we do now? Do we go as, as far as the power lines or do we leave them in? I mean, I'm worried if we take the power lines out as well. That's, that's really getting really getting naked then. I think we'll leave the power lines in for now. So can we actually get rid of these things, like the, the old barns and stuff? I'm guessing if we go into construction mode, let's see if we can actually go through and actually get rid of these, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, he wants to charge me 6,253 to get rid of. How, how rude is that? I mean, okay, fair enough. So we can get rid of stuff like that. Can we get rid of all these little bits? We can. Oh, the scrap is part of that. Right, okay. It's costing us a little bit to get rid of all this, but I think it's going to be good in the long run. Is this something we can get rid of? Oh, we can, yep. Yeah. Oh, we've got some free manure there if we, if we want some, if we're interested. None of this stuff really we can use. Like, the house here doesn't do anything for us. We can't use it to go in. We can't sleep from it. it just doesn't do anything. So, can we get rid of any of the fence as well? Oh, we can get... Yeah, we can get rid of that. Just a normal fence, that is. I just think blank canvas. And we'll just go through and we'll get rid of the grass and stuff. And we'll see... Oh, what's this here? We've got someone else here when you get... What is that? Ooh. Oh, it looks like a power plant. It's making a funny noise. Oh. The humming has stopped. All right. Well, I think that's pretty good. I mean, is this fence removable? Oh, it is as well. Oh, okay. Oh, we can get rid of that as well. But I think, literally, I think we should just start from scratch, don't you? So that's, that last lamppost, uh, sorry, signpost there is going to get rid of the power lines in the area. Is it just the inner ones or the outer ones? Maybe the inner ones, yes, we could get rid of them. But I don't know what it's going to do. Do we give it a go? I mean, it's really opened up now, hasn't it? 
Let's give it a go and see. Let's get rid of this, this one, last one. And let's just see what power lines this is going to get rid of. Okay. It has just got rid of the inside ones. That's pretty cool. If we go back into it, you can see, yep. I suppose that makes sense. The outside ones, you know, they're quite cool to keep. The inside ones, yeah, we, we needed to get rid of them, really. Well, I think we need to fix the fence around the edge because it's there's places where it's missing, it's battered. At least we can rip it up. We can uh, put in some proper, nice concrete walls. We just need to work out, do we put in some sliding gates or not? Are we going to be getting a lot of big equipment in here? We need to then obviously work out what walls we're going to go for and what gates we're going to go for. How are we going to try and get combines in and out? I do think this is going to be a good place to call home. So as we go through this then, I am going to try and show you more things on this one and cut less things out. So all the building of like new areas, putting all the buildings in and stuff, we're going to try and go through. Where on Elm Creek, a lot of that, like when I did the business park, it was all cut out only because it takes a lot of time. So we're going to see if we can try and include a lot more in this series as well. Since we've got such an open playground, it'd be rude not to. Now we could leave it like this with the kind of ground texture that we've got. I do think it'd be quite nice to maybe start from scratch and actually go through and landscape it all. So what kind of stuff can we go? Oh, we can actually, this is a new mod. So we can actually paint fields. So you can actually paint a plowed field so we don't have to actually go and plow a field that's different okay here we go concrete dirt grass dry patchy grass gravel dirt jesus a lot on this map pathway gravel they have literally covered everything wet mud mm. i think we go let's see if we can go in concrete it might be quite good let's have a look and see what that looks like yeah i think if we just sort of concrete the area give us a, a bit of a starting ground now we need to get a little bit closer that's going to take a little bit more time to do oh we've got a wood lamp post there haven't we what we still need to do we need to get rid of them yeah i think this would be quite good nice little uh little playground to start with how far do we go because we've got to replace the fence as well Fence has got to be on the outside. Right. I'm going to go through, finish this off, and I'll see you when it's time to replace the fence. So the area's been cleaned, and uh, I've got rid of the old rickety fence around the edge, and I was just having a look to see what we could do. I think maybe sort of like a bit of a commercial kind of fence might be quite good, so we can do stuff like this. I think something like this might be good for, like, the outside because we need something that's got big gates that's the problem you see and if we look at this one here you see we've got a 20 meter sliding gate we've got to remember this is going to be the yard where we're going to have everything all our equipment and stuff we've got to get things in and out now we're going to have a few of these probably dotted around so we might put we could put one down here maybe we could put one out on this road as well here somewhere maybe you know Maybe even like across the corner so you can come straight out onto that bridge. Maybe that could be quite good. You know, put it sort of across there, maybe like that. Because then you could just come straight into the yard from this angle. Maybe that's a better way of doing it. Because, I mean, it might be a little bit tight if we try and put it across here. But, I mean, it'd be good for getting cars in. Plus, also, we can put our house in here. Maybe we can enclose the house in a nice brick wall and proper gates and stuff like that. So, there's a lot we can do on here. So, I think we'll go for... Maybe putting one in here. If we place it around about here, maybe. And we need to remember, we've got to be outside. This is going to mount up a little bit. This is going to cost us a little bit of money. And I think if we go outside here, it looks pretty good. And if we plunk it down there. Let's just go and have a quick look at that, shall we? Now, I've cleared the area, but there still seems to be a few little like twigs and stuff kicking about. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of them. So we're just going to have to leave them here. Yeah, you see, I think this could be quite good. Is it a bit of a main entrance? Well, one of the entrances anyway. I do think going over into that corner will be a good one. Just 
it's sort of like a main road in. I do think that'd be quite good. So you've got the path down here. Got a bridge across here. See, there's another way of getting out. I do think maybe put one across the corner could be quite good. Need to maybe go a little bit, a little bit wider. And maybe come back just a little bit across here, maybe. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Because then if we get big lorries and stuff, we can come in off this road here and come in that way. That could be quite good. So let's go around now and see if we can sort of seal this in a little bit. So we just join it on here now and we just sort of basically run it all the way down. This is going to mount up just a little bit. Not going to be cheap, but then this is why we've got a bank balance like this. But remember as well, we need to sort of focus around the edge. Now, do we go... We need to go outside, I think, of the telegraph poles because that's what the old fence was like. So we could plonk that in there and we just need to maybe come across a bit of an angle here. Let's get this where we want it to be lined up here, maybe. About there. And then we can run this one all the way down and it should join up with our gate. It does. Yeah, like that. So we've got a gate in place. Do we go and put another gate over this corner here? This might be good to have one either corner there. Because if we're going off down that road, there's a, a bit of forest over there behind us. So we could get that as well. But I think if we go and have another one in here, it's just good if we're going to bring in some big equipment. Maybe just a slight bit more of an angle across here, maybe. Think about there. Yeah, I think that could be quite good. And then we can now go and stitch it from here. Run it right along and we'll just go spin around so we can see. Try and get it level. It only, it's only going to really be noticeable like when we're in this kind of mode. But might... Is it, look, it looks right. Yep. Across the corner. I mean, we could have put a, a gate on each corner, really. I don't, I don't think we really need to do it on every single corner. We'll go stitch this up to this now. Perfect. And then we just got to stitch these two along here now. From this one all the way along. Yeah, this is not cheap. Look at this. 25 grand ish. Nearly 25 grand to stitch them two together. Okay, so here's our plot of land. Wow, this is a fair size. But just remember, we've got individual blocks. This is just the sort of the like home area. And obviously, we're gonna you know put some stuff on here, but we can forever grow out. So we don't need to just focus everything around here. But we do need to go and have a look and see what we can do now for homes. So we're going to buildings, farmhouse. We've got an array of different things that we can have, but what are we going to go for? What suits this place? Do we go for something nice? We don't want any sort of log cabin, really. I mean, we've got something like... We could have something like this. That's quite a nice place. We had the caravan on Elm Creek. We're not going to go for the caravan again. What about this place? Ooh. I mean, that's quite smart. Not sure if it really suits this kind of map at all. That one looked pretty good. Nice little standard house there. Is that a hotel? That's not a farmhouse. That's a heck of a house. I mean, we could go for something like that. So many different things we could go for. Hmm. I think we should go for maybe something like this. Oh, this looks quite nice, doesn't it? Up on stilts as well. Is that the back or the front? Got a feeling that's going to be the front. But we don't want to go too close to the edge. Do we plonk it in the middle and then sort of put it in a, a bit of a surrounding? Now. Do we actually go on here? Because we could actually put the house separate. Do we start that with the business park on there and actually have the house separate? That's a plan. I think we should use this plot next to the side of the uh, the like business park area. Yard. I think that'd be quite good. Just here. 
quite nice. We could deck this out if we want. So I think let's go and place this here. Oh, yes. Gonna have a look at this then. What a place. Look at this. Got our uh, trigger there if we want to be able to sleep. I think this is quite nice. Now, we can enclose it, but then I don't, I don't know. We're, we're out in the open in the wilds, aren't we? So do we really want to enclose it in? I think maybe we should just put like a maybe a bit of a path in. Let's see if we could just go paint a nice little uh, little maybe yeah, let's go see if we can paint a nice little path in from from here, maybe. So we can just walk across. That could be quite nice. Just there. Yeah, and then do we have like a little bit off to the side for the car to go on? Do we just go and have a little parking plot maybe around here for the car? Not this one's too big. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe just to the side here would be quite nice. Little area we can park the car. Or do we just have a, a little, like, road off? Maybe we could just have, like, a little road off, actually. Somewhere, maybe just a little bit off here like that. Yeah, that could be quite good, couldn't it? Maybe, yeah, we just need to just tweak this little bit down here a little bit. Yeah. Quite nice. So then we could just go park the car like out in the open, you see. Don't want to be enclosed in, really. Maybe we could maybe we could put some plants in. Maybe we should put some plants. Let's see if we can try and find some plants. We've got a lot of things. We can put some bins and skips in if we want. Let's just see. We can find some plants in here somewhere. Here we go. How about some of these? Oh yeah. Let's see if we can go and decorate with some of these. Maybe a couple here. He designed the sort of steps, maybe. Quite nice, then. Put one in there. Maybe one in there. And then what about one in there as well? Now, do we get do we get some... Uh, oh, yes. Now we're talking. What about some like little lights? I wonder if we can get some little lights at the bottom of the stairs. We can get it. Do we get a snow? We get a snowman. Let's just see where the little lights are. Here we are. Little lights. How about? Uh, do we go for small ones? Maybe a little bit bigger. No, they're a bit too big. Yeah, maybe the small ones. Just at the bottom of the stairs. And they're, they're too fat and chunky. Let's just go for a couple of them at the bottom. Light up the steps at night. So we can see where we go when we've had a few too many. Yeah. Like. Now, we could literally go to town and decorate in the house and stuff, but I think that's pretty good. Let's go jump into our car and let's go park it up at the house. Because we've got some uh, business to design on here. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to go for. I'm not going to go too much to town on this at the minute because I don't know really what we're going to go for. We've got to put a silo in. I think you know which silo I'm going to go for. Yeah. That's looking good. I'm happy with that. And like I said, we can completely decorate the area. But it's all looking pretty good. I think this fence sort of it works quite well. It separates it all nicely. This is our little playground to play on. Now, what do we start putting on here? So things might change as time goes on, but I think for now we need to find some little sheds like this. Big enough for like wagons and any large vehicles, maybe some planters and stuff. So I think if we go and fit maybe, what, we go put one in here maybe? I think that could be quite good. Get it nice and level there at the front. Move it in just a little bit. Drop one in there. Plus these are going to make us some money as well. And maybe if we put another one in just here. Let's see if we can try and get a level with this one here. I think if we just go and plonk it in around about there. So a couple of sheds obviously going to pay us nearly 500 a month back. For the solar panels on the roof. So that's pretty good. Now we need to look at it like a silo. Where are we going to put a silo? So we've got the sheds over there. 
Maybe a silo as you come in. But it just depends on where we're going to be coming in from. That's the thing. Maybe on the back wall here might be quite good. So let's go into silos. And there's so many we can go for. I mean, there is a lot. But I'm just going to go for the trusty one that I do know. We've also got bale storages as well that we could do, depending on what we're going to do with bales and stuff. LC for animals. But I think we'll progress on them as we go. We're just going to sort of go for the basics at the minute that we know we're definitely going to need. So a silo we're definitely going to need. And I just need to try and find them because there's so many silos on this. There we go. Let's go for one of these here. Now, where do we, where should we put it, do you think? Vehicle says this side here. Maybe we could just sort of put it on this back wall for now. It could be quite good. What do you think? Maybe in here somewhere? Either way, you'll be able to get to that. You know, you'll be able to sort of swoop round and plunk that in there. Looking good. Huge, huge silo. That's what we want. Let's just go and put the concrete back then because it's kind of changed the, the ground. Get round here, round the back, round this side. Beautiful. So, silo in place then. That will hold a lot. There's a lot of zeros on there. That'll hold everything that we need. So now we need to just work out if we're going to do factories and what factories we're going to go for. Also, I think we'll keep this area full, like the factories and stuff, as a bit of a business part. Plus, also, we can do our own BGA. I think maybe, yeah, I think the BGA is definitely going to be put in here. We've got a lot of factories we can go for and BGA. So if we go for like BGA, we can go for something small or we can go for something massive. Now, do we keep the BGA in the business park or do we go on a plot of land outside the business park? Hmm. I suppose we could put it inside here. We just need to work out if we're going to be doing a lot of productions or not. Are we going to get any productions on this one? Or are we just going to go for a few? Are we going to do like bread, flour and all that kind of stuff? Or are we going to keep this more to the farming? I think we're going to keep this more to the farming, if I'm honest. Now, we have got a BGA built in on here, which we could go and buy. Let's go and have a look at that. Now, I think buying the BGA is going to be good because we are just down the road from our plot of land. And we've got like a little way station here so we can uh, work out, oh, a way zero. Uh, if only that was true. So it's like a normal BGA, but we have got methane. Look. Oh, yes. Listen to that baby roar. We can do methane. I think we're going to have to do this. I think we're going to buy this one. So we just go up to this little box here. We should be able to buy it. 25 grand. Yeah. Oh, yes. So let's go and have a look and see. Then if we look in here, we'll be able to see. So silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet, cut, sugar beet, and potatoes. We get digestate and methane out. Oh, this is going to be good. What a place. And like I say, it's just down the road. If we're going to have a quick look, you can see it is literally just down the road. So we are here. Literally down the road. We've also got a lime station here as well. And gold production. So we can do gold. We could buy a lime as well. Yep. I definitely think this is going to be good. Ooh. Nice gate. So we've actually got storage here as well we can use. We've got the big pits as well. So this could be good to use these and actually do it like the old-fashioned way. Well, I said the old-fashioned way, the kind of normal way. Cut the grass, put it in here. Oh, yes. So, we own the BGA, we own the area, and we have started to build it. 
I think that's a good place to leave this first episode. So we're just, just treading the water. But we need to progress and move on. So thank you so much for watching then. Don't forget to hit subscribe, turn the bell on. And if you are liking this so far, then please do hit like. And I will see you right here in the next one.